Pandora's items, harm assist one, and the bronze ticket, guys. Just reroll these. Mm, nah, it's Pandora's items. Nice. We, we, we're high rolling so hard, guys. That's actually crazy. We have Piltover start with economy start. <laughs> with economy start. With Bilgewater units. Already on my bench. I don't think I'm selling anything, am I? Yeah, I don't think I'm selling anything. I I'm not selling these guys. I'm not selling my Pilto, my build water units. That's for sure. I'm just gonna keep. I'm just gonna keep them. I'm just gonna cash out the build uh, Pilto over, and then I'm just gonna play. Uh... I'm just gonna play um, build water afterwards. So this guy already has build water. This guy has TF. Only one T. Okay, four TFs, including me. Okay, so four people hard forcing build water this game. Gonna be an interesting game, guys. <laughs> and by interesting, I mean absolutely god awful. But you know, I can pivot into something else, but not really. Oh, I could just play build water reroll as well. Eh, uh, piltover reroll. I could play piltover reroll as well. Mm, maybe we'll do that as well, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. We'll see. I think I'll save the bows, though, and stuff. Oh, I already have an even shroud. Definitely gonna save that. Yeah, nah. I'm just going Bilgewater, man. We're not going Piltover reroll. We can do that when the meta is a little bit better. You feel me, guys? We can do that when the meta is a little bit healthier. Not now. I don't think that's worth. I'm just gonna give this to him. Just gonna give this to him. Twenty, ha twenty gold, twenty gold. Okay. So basically, what happened here is it's a five-item start, which is rare. And then during the five-item starts, sometimes you can get only a three-item start or four-item start, but you get more money in exchange as well, which is an economy start with still a lot of items, which is pretty interesting. And if that happens, well get something like this you can just drop a bunch of good units and you're chilling she's gonna play this girl because she's terrible and she's gonna definitely make me keep losing here oh this guy's really weak i think he's gonna sell his entire board oh frick there's some really weak players okay i think i have to lock up this vi you have to lock up this vi in the corner so she cannot partake in the fight and we are much weaker because we gotta be as weak as possible because we gotta keep that lost streak going i could make so much more money if i wouldn't keep the bilge water units but you have to man it, it, like i don't make the rules i hate playing these kind of metas but you just have to like you can choose this or you can just lose every game like, you can either basically choose this or not play. And I, it's my job to play, so I have to play. So I have to do this. It's very simple. There's an MF and it's a bow. So we get our rapid fire cannon, our first one. As always, guys, the strategy is to get even shroud for the armor pen because Bilgewater is full uh, magic, uh, full physical damage, right? The whole trait is only physical damage. And uh, that's the most important part. And then you want rapid fire, double rapid fire, and giant slayer for Nila. A lot of people go edge of night. I feel like the rapid, uh, the giant slayer outperforms it. I feel like with edge of night you don't have enough damage. This is hilarious now because we we are on Marus Omignum, by the way. Which is gonna be so crazy, bro. It's gonna be a crazy game. I can be weaker though by playing this. I want to be as weak as possible because some people are quiet weak. Trying to lost streak as well. Yeah, we are on Marus Omegnum. Which is uh, the Targon portal that gives you on stage 2, uh, stage 2, 5 and 4, 5 gain a Tactician's Crown. Everybody. So everyone's gonna have 9 units at level 7. Which means you can hit 9 Piltover at level 7. If you find uh, two emblems and if you find the lucky guy at level 7. Nice, I kill a unit. That's actually so beautiful. Four unit loss here is not bad. 
if you get the lucky gangplank at level 7, which is, you know, probably not gonna happen, let's be real. But if somebody gets three emblems, which if someone is playing Earth, which no one is here. Well, maybe someone is playing Earth, but didn't take the Earth augment. No, no one's playing Earth. Uh, if I if I find spatulas, I can go for the uh, Bilgewater emblem with cloak, so that would be great. Uh, I think I'm fine. I, I'm not gonna win like this. Nice. Okay, so we go for a Bilgewater and Piltover cash out. So level seven will have eight units at stage three. So we will have enough room for a Bilgewater and Piltover together. Uh, for five Bilgewater and three Piltover. And um, yeah, we'll have two Gunner as well, I guess, with Chase. Chase can be our cash out unit. And then we hopefully can cash out with that, yeah. And then we can't really lose this fight, can we? Alright, great. And then I'm gonna sell the units I don't need. And then I'm gonna... I think I'm just gonna level off here. Because now I have better chances for... Mila and stuff in the shop. Well, I, I have a chance at all. I, I had zero. Now I have 2% for pink units. I go this on MF. I have a lot of items. I think I go this on MF for now. I have a lot of items. Five Bilgewater is gonna be really strong, so I, we can hopefully easily cash out. There's another Graves, that's great. I don't wanna cash out yet, though. I'm level five, let's scout the lobby. Level five as well. He's pretty weak. He's not gonna level to six, is he? He's level five. He's pretty strong, though. Uh, I can't be too strong. I think the even shroud is too strong. I think just having Bilgewater is too strong as well. Gunner is fine. Okay, we can kill the Galio here, which is pretty good. We have a Reforger as well. We're not gonna go for any tank items yet. Let's get those Neela items. Well, Jace items, until we get Neela. I hope I get lucky and I just get a two-star Neela. At freaking level seven right at the start, because I didn't get a single Mila last game, so um, the RNG should balance out. We should get an easy win here, right? Last game was pretty upsetting. Jewel Lotus is really good. Recombobulator is terrible. Transfusion is pretty good. Cybernetic Bulk. It's definitely just Jewel Lotus. Oh, nice, another Jace. It's looking great. And then we can just level here. I'm still pretty weak. If I win here, how bad is it? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose another couple more. 16, 16 stacks is not that good of a cash out. I have a lot of money. It's really good, man. Really good. Just like last game. I had so much money going in. Such a lucky start. And then I just got obliterated, man. Because I just couldn't find Nila. The game is just all about Nila. Yeah, sword for GS, you're right. We want that giant slayer for sure. Could even go Hodge because we have Jewel Lotus. Nah, but I, I want just full damage. Giant slayer is more damage, I would say. 100%. Remember, guys, the only way you lose with Bilgewater is if there's a Giga tank. And um, remember, the Bilgewater trait scales with how much damage the units deal to the unit before the cannonball drops. So if you have a Giant Slayer, you're gonna actually be able to take down these Giga Tanks, like Chugath 3 and stuff. Because Chugath 3 is a well-known counter at the moment to Bilgewater. But it's only a pseudo-counter. Because if the Bilgewater player really gets everything going... Yes! That's just deserved, you know? Like, it's just deserved. You, you already know it's deserved. Like, what else would it be? What, what else would it be other than deserved? Like, you, you can't really prove me wrong. 
If I win this, it's fine. I get 20 stacks. 20 stacks is pretty good. 20 stacks is very good. We have to roll at 7 no matter what. Remember, because after this stage, after this here, after this, this is where everybody rolls down. This is where all the Nilas will be gone. Poof. Out of the pool. There's 12 Nilas in the entire game. Everyone will buy Nilas. Everyone looks for Nilas here. Everyone. Four players are going for Bilgewater. They're all gonna want Nila. Four players are going for uh, Twisted Fate Bilgewater. There might be even more that are going for, you know. I should have gone for this, actually. Yeah, I should have gone for this. Uh, it's okay, though, because I take away a bow, and the people that play Nila without Twisted Fate, they will not have access to bows if I do that. So you're griefing the other players that might want to go Nila. Okay, okay, just roll it down now. Let's see what our cash out is. 20 stacks can be good, can be a Radiant item, can be a, another Tactician's Crown. 20 stacks is very good. Nice Radiant item. Do I re-roll that? I don't think so. I think this one's fine. I'm not, I'm not playing uh, the thing, by the way. I'm just playing Bilgewater. I didn't find a single Nila. I have reforgers. I should reforge the radiant item actually. I have so many reforgers. I didn't find a single Nila, bro. Past the one that I already had. How many Nilas are out? I'm pretty sure I have to keep rolling here. I got so much gold from the cash out. I don't have a remover, that's the problem. I feel like the Dwarpala stone play is really good though. It gives him so much resistances and he gets more resistances. I, I feel like it's really good. And then I just go Warmogs on him. Like I feel like it's actually so good. Oh, bruh. Bruh. Yeah, at least I find him. Okay, I mean, this is so good, bro. I probably just go this over the, the guy. I feel like Shen is fine. Like, I get Shen too. Shen is pretty fine. He doesn't have a Nila, but he's gonna roll next turn. I need to... St this guy keeps emoting for the second game in a row. It's so cringe. Yeah, I feel like this is actually a good item. No, like it's so risky to reforge it. And I already have three items on Elon. I think it's just gonna be uh, too rough to to find something good. I'm pretty sure Shen is better than this trash Sion. Sion got nerfed, but honestly Sion is better. Sion is CC. Nah, I should play Sion instead of Shen for sure. No, Zion is terrible. Zion, don't buy Zion. The game is really imbalanced right now. I cannot stress it enough. The game is extremely imbalanced. Do not buy Zaya under any circumstances. Under no circumstances you buy this Zaya, okay? Okay, so we're gonna have a really freaking tanky guy. It's actually crazy how tanky we will be. This guy with the Warmongs? It's a two-star disguised as a four-star, man. Or a four-star disguised as a two-star, basically. What are you kidding? Uh, Sunfire is good, but I really want the Warmogs for the Giga, the Giga tank value. I mean, the thing is, now I have to just sit, right? Because there's no way I keep rolling here. I could use my Reforgers, but you never know what the last Dogma is. I, I can't keep rolling here. Like, they're just gonna get their Nilas, man. There's not much I can do. I just need to wait them, wait for them to miss. I'm gonna hold the, the the Nautilus because it griefs the enemies. We're, we're about to get another uh, emblem uh, thingy. Hopefully I can get an emblem, like a Bilgewater emblem here. So I can get seven Bilgewater without without having to find Gangplank. Because yeah, finding Gangplank is... Uh, that is impossible, please. Bilgewater emblem, I'm in a really good position, even with the one star Nila. But again, really unlucky, just, you, I already had that one Nila, and then you expect to just win the game, but then you just get caught and you just don't find another one. 
if it's from the Fallen, is not bad. Contagion is good. Contagion is really good. Okay, I have to take Contagion. Contagion is very good. I, I, I can't roll that for Bilgewater Emblem. I have to just take Contagion there. It's good enough. It's really good because it increases the Bilgewater damage as well. So we just have to go for that. It's cringe, but it is what it is. Also, now I can just reforge this. Redemption is really good, but Warmox is so much better. Because this already heals him. Do you think do you think Redemption is better? Do you think Redemption is better than Warmox? Do you think there's any world where Redemption is better than Warmox? Or at least similar. Similar strength. It's similar strength for sure because it reduces AoE damage taken. But Warmox is just crazy with the Tuarpala. Nah, it has to be Warmox. Yeah, I don't care. I'm just gonna go Warmox. I'm gonna keep one Reforger just for the uh, as a safety safety mechanism for late game. Because uh, late game you will get full items. And at that point you do not... Uh, like, re-rolling full items with TF Augment. With the TF Legend is really, really rare that you get the right one. Two-star Nila, he just hits for free. Trash game. Um, this guy just has everything. I don't think he's losing. But not a lot of people playing Nila, actually, this game. This guy has one Nila, two Nilas. It gets scope weapons. Like, I could have gotten scope weapons, you know? This guy has also one Nila. Yeah, there's a lot of Nilas out of the pool. I will have to roll down again at level 7. Right now. I will roll to 0 right now. Because there's still enough left that I could maybe hit. Because if I just don't get any more, I'm just... I'm really going dead last. Man, this guy's so lucky with the sequencing of the fight. So cringe, bro. Like, my, 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 she just jumps around here, just doesn't get attacked. Nothing we can do. Just Warmox diff, just reroll twice, can't get Warmox. There's a Nila, I'm second pick. GG, I guess. I lose, lol. Wait, maybe no one's gonna take it. He's not even playing Nila, he just needed the crit. That's so unlucky. I'm just gonna go for my safe Warmox, man. Actually, I need more money. Nah, I have to go for the safe Warmox. Watch this turn into a belt now. Watch this. It's the classic. It's the classic, guys. It's the classic. I need, I need uh, basically to hit GP here. The thing is, how many Nilas are out? There's still some left. Look, it, it like, you can't make it up. You, you actually can't make it up. Also, my MF is scuffed, has no damage, so I'll just go for Morello on her. Oh, that's actually really good. Oh, but then I want uh, four Jugger, right? I think I want four Jugger then. Yeah, I mean, Jarvan 2 is better than Scion 1. So we just get rid of Scion. We definitely want four Jugger. Four Jugger is insane for him. He's gonna just be so tanky. Uh, we just get rid of Scion. I mean, I'll just buy this because maybe the 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 guys die, and I just get a three star MF. Who knows? Also, I need to make sure this thing is has always the the crit. Okay, I mean this this guy is unkillable. Like it's actually so disgustingly tanky now with four juggernaut. But this guy has two star Nila. Hopefully, we can just kill him here. He has bilge seven. I, I think I lose against him. He has bilge seven. Yeah, bilge seven. He also finds uh, GP at level seven. He has an emblem and finds GP.
Classic, guys. Classic. Okay, that's good. The thing is, the two strategist shield is just 250. I do kind of want the shield on these units instead of the AP. It's 15 AP. She gets more healing. Actually, she doesn't get more healing. It, doesn't, it just deals more damage. Hmm. I want everybody to focus the Nautilus, that's for sure. It ain't luck, it's destiny. Oh, that's pretty good. I mean, I have all my upgrades now. What's the best item I can go for? Just the belt on Nasus? Just the belt on Nasus. Okay, I mean, I have all my upgrades, except for Nila, so I just I just sit now. I, I can't do anything else. Can't do anything else. I have a really good team. I have a lot of two stars. Just Nila is missing. As always, guys, it's just the Nila lottery. I, I lost. I, I actually am um, doing really badly. I did this strategy. I went first two games in a row. And now I haven't been able to find two star Nila in four games in a row. This is the fourth game in a row where I just get super unlucky compared to the enemies. And I'm still doing well because I, I'm playing it better, frankly. I'm playing it better here, man. I'm still getting like fifth places and stuff. I'm just playing it better than these fools. It is what it is. But if they just find Nila, I can't really do much, man. There's not much we can do. This guy is playing... There's two people playing Fiora this game. This guy is just so powerful, man. Okay, it's not bad. I, I mean, my positioning is fine. How does he not have a two-star Kai'Sa? It's actually insane. How does he not have a two-star Kai'Sa, bro? A lot of people contested challengers this game. Okay, my, 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 my Nautilus is so good. My Nautilus is so freaking good. I feel like the skill expression in this game was just not re-rolling the, the stone plate. The stone plate, recognizing that he has this... Uh, passive, which gives him more armor and magic resistance from all sources. I feel like that is winning me the game right now. Or like, do, uh, making me do well. Ah, uh, it's just 7 Bilgewater, 4 free, 2 star Azir. He's holding 2 more Nilas. He needs to just die. He needs to just die, he needs to just die. But I, I don't think I can kill him. I don't want to fight him because I don't think I can kill him. He has 7 Bilgewater. I don't. It's simple as that. I don't have 7 Bilgewater, guys. Oh, oh, oh! Yes, yes, yes! We kill him! 5 Nilas back in the pool! 5 Nilas! Go freak yourself, man! I'm selling this. I'm not gonna hit this. Okay, 5 Nilas back in the pool. Nila on carousel here. No Nila. What item do I want? Oh, that. Give me that. Give me that Rabadons. Give me that Rabadons for the MF. More damage. Even though we gave her one supportive item, it's still fine. Morello, giving her Rabadons is still gonna do a lot of damage. This guy still has a one-star Nila. Has zero gold as well. This guy has a two-star Nila. I mean, do I roll here? Do I roll? I'm so far away. He has two Nilas. Three Nilas. That's only five. That's only six Nilas. I feel like I roll here, right? I roll here, but I stay level seven. I roll there, but I stay level... The thing is, I have everything else, and I don't have a duplicate Nila. If I had two Nilas, then sure, we can roll. But I only have one Nila. The rogue player, but I'm luckily playing against his ghost, so he's gonna be weaker than his real, than the real player. So hopefully we can, uh, yeah, yeah, nice, his rogue already proc, nice, 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 they die, okay. Huge, 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 okay, nice. That's huge. 
Hopefully we don't fight the real player now. Nice, man. I'm on my way to a top three. The thing is, I would love to level to eight, but I think we just need to roll for Nila. But, ah, it feels so bad. This guy has a two-star MF, has four MFs, two Nilas. This guy has only three MFs, so that's seven MFs. Seven MFs. There is 18 MFs. Seven MFs. Ah, oh, man. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling, we're chilling, I think. Positioning is fine. This Nila is so powerful. He has a Shurima emblem. He has a one star. He, his tanks are so useless, though. Is he seven bilge water or no? Oh, he's five as well. Okay, I, I wipe him. I wipe, I should wipe him. Even though he has two star Nila. I should wipe him. Nice. That's big. Two star Nila. Okay, I, I think I have a top three guaranteed now. Because he's gonna... Mm, is he gonna die? I mean, if he finds... I'm not sure if leveling here is correct. Because leveling gives me the guaranteed upgrade. But rolling gives me a chance for two star Nila. This guy surrendered. Yes! Let's go, baby. So Nila, three Nila's back in the pool. I think I'm rolling then. This guy has two Nila's. Am I rolling or what? Level eight can give me can give me a freaking higher chance for I, I think I'm leveling. I think I have to level, bro. There's enough Nila's to hit while leveling. so well deserved bro like it's just so well deserved man just get out of here man it's just so freaking well deserved you piece of garbage game man it's just so well deserved man it's just so freaking well deserved man it's just the most deserved game ever i'm deserving everything i i think it's actually double mf double mf should do more damage I feel like it's actually Ionic Spar. Uh, like, the MF does a lot. The MF actually does a lot. I need one GP, it's game over. I, I win for free. One GP, I win for free. I might win without GP. If I win the game with five Bilgewater... If I win this game with five Bilgewater, this is the worst game in the history of Dota. In the entirety of Dota, guys. Okay, I'm not gonna hit another two star. This guy. Freak it. I mean, I'll, I'll sell one. How many how many Nilas does he have? He still has a one star Nila. Oh. Oh, GG. I'm holding this. Well, don't worry about me, little guy. Don't worry about me, little bro. I'm holding this. I'm holding this Nila. You already know. This game turned into a who can grief more. This game turns when the meta is bad, the game turns into not how can you play the best board, it's how can you make the enemies play the weakest board. Because everyone's playing the same board. I'm I'm locking this. I'm locking this. I'm not allowing him to get another He killed the other guy. It's just Bilgewater 1v1. He killed the other guy, so I'm just holding Nila. I'm just gonna hold Nila. Just prevent him from getting two star Nila. And I can win. Ah, oh, frick. Frick this guy, man. That's lucky. Honestly, don't you think I still win? I mean, he does have triple RFC Nila. And he does have Mana Zane, which is pretty insane. He's also holding a lot of MFs. So I don't think I'll hit three star MF. But at the end of the day, I have this freaking. Uh, like, I have. Jewel Lotus. I have Jewel Lotus 3, but he has 7 build water. I have Jewel Lotus 1. Oh, but also I have Contagion. I have Contagion. It's actually crazy damage. And I have Dwarpala Stoneplate. I have the Radiant Item Advantage. Because of Piltover Cash Out. Okay, I'm winning so far. I'm winning so far. He can't really hit anything. I I, I don't even have 7 build water. Uh, GP here, and I win the game. Build water Emblem. Can't really get a Bilgewater Emblem, bro. I think I'll just go Heal Reduction. I I, I can't get a Bilgewater Emblem because I, I don't have a remover for the Nasus to get the thing off. And I could get it. I, I already had Heal Reduction, but this now it's like 
full, super uh, consistent, you know? Like it's... Maybe this girl gets sniped by Nila with the huge range. I'm just... Oh, this is just deserved, guys. It's just so well deserved, man. Uh, who do we ditch? We ditch this guy, right? I think I keep my four juggers. I think I keep my four juggers. Okay, I mean, it's g game over. It's just game over, man. Like, now it's just game over. Yeah, I don't have a remover, and I don't want to give up the Ionic Spark. The Ionic Spark is too good, I think. Oh, frick, I think I lost. I lost. Jesus Christ, man. That was just pos probably positioning. Also, not having Jarvan is a little bit rough, but I, I feel like four Jugger is better. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Uh, Jarvan 2 is pretty big. Maybe I just threw, but I feel like I didn't. Because four Jugger is insane. With this thing, I, there's no way. There's no way. It's just positioning. It's just positioning diff, man. I think I, I didn't hit my, my Nila with her with the boat. I think I need to hit the Nila with the boat. I think if he's in this corner, it comes from this side most of the time. He shifted Nila as well. He has the long range Nila. Like if my Nila just jumps in like an idiot, I lose. See now I just win for free. It's not even close. It's kind of close though. Oh, you know what it actually is? It's the it's the Mana Zane blue buff MF that's doing so much damage. It's actually the Mana Zane blue buff MF, huh? Also, he only has MFs. He doesn't even have two star Jarvan though. He also has a bunch of str strategists. Yeah, it's three strategists with this. The thing is, he does he's not incentivized to go for Juggernaut, right? Because he, he doesn't have like a Radiant item on him. I have a Radiant item on this guy, so I feel like... Also, I feel like maybe I shouldn't just solo frontline him. So he doesn't just get one shot at the start, so he gets more value. Afterwards, I got a remover. I frig it, three star, three star girl. Four free. Just get lucky. Okay, I didn't hit. I'm gonna sell her then. Just rolling for the guy. Okay. I go for the mana generation item. This is uh, the same strength as Shojin, basically. Ah, man, he has two-star Jarvan. I think I lose now. I think two-star Jarvan, I just lose, guys. I just get wiped, yeah. Yeah, two-star Jarvan. All right, guys. But I feel like I should still play four Jugger because I have the Dvarpala Stoneplate. But isn't it crazy how my Dvarpala Stoneplate guy just gets one shot, just like this? Isn't that crazy, bro? Just gets one shot. The throw, I don't think it's a throw. And if it is a throw, maybe a rank one challenger can tell me that. But you definitely don't know that, Mr. Filthy Mac 420 in your little silver rank. No offense, man. But you are just doing the classic post analysis garbage where you just see, oh, he took out a unit and then he lost. Hmm. I think it was because of that unit. But you don't realize that the enemy got a two-star Jarvan. They got much stronger as well. They got new items. They got that blue buff on the MF, which makes it cast infinitely with the Mana Zane. With crazy amount of damage with the Bilgewater trait. So, very, very, um, a very cringe display by this guy. But anyway, guys, still a great game, guys. This is going to get fixed soon, so I will stop uploading this trash Bilgewater stuff soon. But for now, we can still enjoy it for a little bit more. Subscribe and notification bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video in the YouTube algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time. Peace.